एवरीवन माय नेम इज आस्था चौहान वेलकम टू दी ट्यूटोरियल्स पॉइंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम सुपरवाइज्ड अनसुपरवाइज्ड एंड रीइंफोर्समेंट लर्निंग विद सुइटेबल एग्जांपल्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट सुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग टाइप्स ऑफ सुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग एंड एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ सुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग नाउ सुपरवाइज्ड लर्निंग in supervised learning we train the model by giving the labeled data as an input to predict the further outcomes we have also discussed this example in the previous video let's understand this again let's say this guy is our model and we are providing some labeled data to this model that means we are telling the model that uh, this kind of ball is basketball and this kind of ball is football After training, when we provide some new ball to the model, it will predict whether it is a football or a basketball. In this case, we are providing this new ball to the model, and this is predicting that it is a basketball. Supervised learning algorithm are further divided into two categories. First is classification, and second is regression. If I talk about the main and the basic difference between the classification and regression, then in case of classification we have discrete output variable, and in case of regression we have continuous output variable. Let's understand this with this simple example. In case of classification, it is telling us whether the environment is hot or cold. that means we have only two categories as the output hot and cold in the case of regression it is telling the exact value of the temperature that it is 84 degree fahrenheit that means we have continuous value as the output random forest decision tree logistic regression support vector machines are the algorithms that falls under the classification type problem linear regression polynomial regression regression trees are the algorithms that falls under the regression type problem we are going to discuss all these algorithms in detail in further videos so stay tuned with the tutorials point now let's discuss about the classification type problem with an example we have two types of features first is independent feature and second is dependent feature all the input data that we provide to the model to predict some output are called independent features and the output that we obtain from the model are called dependent features in this particular case the number of hours for sleep for playing games and for study are the independent features and the output whether the student is going to pass or fail is the dependent feature we can observe here that we have only two categories in the output variable that is either the student is going to pass or fail the exam that means we have categorical output if we have only two categories in the output variable then it becomes binary classification and if we have more than two categories then it will become multi class classification now next let's talk about regression type problem in this case again the number of hours for sleep playing games and study are the independent features and the marks percentage obtained is output variable that is dependent feature we can observe here that we are getting the exact percentage marks of the students that means we are getting some continuous value in the output variable so this is the type of regression now next what are the advantages of supervised learning as we are providing the labeled data to the model we have full control over what the machine is learning and we can easily debug our model and it has broad range of applications including image and speech recognition natural language processing sentiment analysis medical diagnosis and more now next is what are the disadvantages of supervised learning as we are providing some labeled data to the model so it has limited scope collecting labeled data is very expensive and time consuming wrong prediction in case of model is complex or we are not providing the sufficient data set to the model it may overfit that means it will memorize the data set and perform poorly on the new or unseen data so that was it for this video in the coming video we are going to discuss knn in detail and we are going to discuss all these machine learning algorithms in detail in further videos So stay tuned with the tutorials point and thanks for watching